running again, sweetie? <laughs> I think it's so cute when you play this game. Pretending that you don't want to be wrapped tight in my tail. All that running has got you drenched in sweat. Shall I start a bath for us, honey bun? Oh, please, you never let me have a bath with you. It'll be just like we're in a hot tub. Mwah. See? Doesn't that sound romantic? Just you and me in a nice warm tub. I'll get a bunch of candles and fancy oils, whatever you could possibly desire. You're just the best sweetie pie ever. You won't regret it. Oh, and after that, I can even prepare a feast. You'd like that, right? Now, why would you think I'm buttering you up? I can't just love my schnookums. I do not like this attitude you're giving me, darling. Hmm. Well, maybe I just think that you deserve nice things. I can't just really, really, really love you. Gosh, you know I entranced you because I fell in love with you, right? It's not like I abducted you to hurt you or anything. Oh, boo. You're too smart to be saying things like that. Come here. A little bit in the bath will have you feeling rejuvenated. You'll be back to your senses in no time. I know being cooped up in here can get to you sometimes, but you'll get used to it. I'll help you get used to it. Nice and warm. Have a feel. Oh, I don't think you'll need it to be any warmer than this since I'll be joining you. Oh, I don't think you'll need it to be any warmer than this. I'll be joining you to keep you nice and warm. Well then, I'll at least stay by the side and accompany you. How does that sound? Good. Now let me pick out a bath oil for you. I'm thinking of something with clary sage and chamomile. That will help you sink into the waters and forget all of your worries. Come now, sweetie, get in. Oh, but you're my darling. I'd love to see you there. <sighs> of course, my dear, whatever makes you comfortable.
is it safe for me to turn around, my dear? Oh, look at you, sinking into the water and the bubbles. You look so comfortable. You enjoy the scent, right? Of course, only the best for you, my dearest. Now, I think it would be best for you to stay in here for the next 15 minutes, at least. You can stay longer, of course, if you like. Oh, no reason, sweetums. I just want you to get the most out of the nice oils that I made for you. Did I say made? <laughs> I must have forgotten to tell you. Of course I made them. I made them with all of the love and care that I have for you. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Oh, but I love giving gifts. You deserve nothing less than to be wrapped in the finest silks and eat the most decadent meals. Shh, my sweetest. You'll never have to lay on cotton sheets again. Only the most luxurious textiles for you. After all, it's what you deserve. I'm very thankful. It seems like you're finally warming up to the nest since you've gotten here. I'm so happy to finally have found a suitable mate. Oh, please. There were plenty of other options. My pheromones attract other lamias from around the lands, but I just couldn't stand them. I hated how they just threw themselves at me. <laughs> Call me a little difficult, but I enjoy a little chase. You were the perfect candidate, and the fact that you never stopped the chase makes you all the more thrilling. Do you remember the first couple of months you were here? You would try to escape your little nest every morning. Oh, it was the cutest thing ever. I still remember the look on your face when you first climbed out of the window and realized that we were living in a treehouse. Very, very, very high up. <laughs> well, I guess you were totally entranced when I brought you up here, so it makes sense. You're being so mean to me. Do I need to entrance you again? I thought we were done with that. <sighs> oh, come on now, darling. I don't want to fight with you. Come here. Let me hold you. That's it. Come to me, dear. Look only at me. You shouldn't let yourself get so upset. I hate seeing you like this. It hurts my heart, it really does. Look at me, darling. I want to see those beautiful eyes. These are the eyes that absolutely captivate me every time they catch a glare of candlelight. Thankfully, mine can captivate you as well. Just 
like this. My sweet, precious little love, you shouldn't be so upset. You're meant to lay in our nest and look pretty. You're meant to stay cuddled up next to me for days. For you to be in any sort of turmoil is unbefitting for such a cute little snack. Just keep looking in my eyes and clear your mind of all of your worries. As a matter of fact, you don't need to think at all. You should let me clear your mind completely. You don't need any of those thoughts. You need to sink into the warm, warm water and relax. Let all of the troubles sink into the water and be flushed down the drain. Rock and round and round until they don't exist anymore. Isn't that right? Don't you hate having so many thoughts buzzing around and around and around all the time? Some silence up here would make things so much easier, wouldn't it? So let me take all of those thoughts and carry them for you. I'll slide them out right through these little ears of yours, one by one. They'll all slide out and they won't bother you anymore. Isn't that right? You know I'll do anything to make you happy, my little love, right? I'll do anything to keep you happy. My love will take care of us, both of us. This will just make things a little easier. Think about it. to enjoy all of the newfound peace and quiet. No more decisions or bad memories. Only the warm embrace of me in our nest and the soft breeze outside. And when the time comes, maybe I'll give you some of your memories back. Though, you might not want them. And I'll be more than happy to keep them locked away from you, my love. Enjoy your bath now. The 
way that it was meant to be enjoyed. Mm. <laughs> How do you feel, darling? Mm. See? You can't even remember why you were mad in the first place. It must have been so silly, right? Not important at all. This is all that's important. You and I together. Let me be your peace, my dear. 